scribble. Hey guys, it's Jess and Daddy Don. If you're new, welcome. If you're not, welcome back. If you are new, hey, don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below to become part of that worldwide fam. And without further ado, let's skiddly diddly do. I did that in one take. Oh my God. This really is a new year. Also, my cat would like to say hi. So if you follow me on my blog, holygrailsnail.com, then you may have already seen the blog edition of my review for this product here. And if you haven't, that's fine. There's always time to go ahead and visit holygrailsnail.com. This is the Skin Transformation Cream by Key Soul Care. Or is it just called Soul Care? I first saw it, it says Key Soul Care but it, then it just says Soul Care on the website. So Key Soul Care, which is now a whole line of products from Alicia Keys. Alicia Keys made the line containing the skin transformation cream along with a board certified dermatologist. So I'm glad to see that a lot of celebrities are consulting with other, you know, people who actually, you know, do this for a living. They're not just going to a lab and saying, I need to make me some money. Um, they're actually trying. So when I first purchased this cream, it was back in January and it was like a couple days, I think, after the launch. So she only had the Skin Transformation Cream, the Oat Milk and Sage Candle, and the Black Obsidian Roller. But now she has an entire line. She has a cleanser, a mask, a facial mist. She has like the whole shebang, which was wild because usually you start off making like one or two things you introduce and then people go, ooh, and then you add some more. She said, you gonna get this cream and then you gonna get everything else. So as usual, I'm gonna disclose, I am not affiliated with Key Soul Care. I purchased this with my own money. I'm not sponsored by Alicia Keys or Alicia Keys Soul Care or Key Soul Care. But if you wanna sponsor girl, you know what it's Black History Month. I'm gonna do a full demo for you. You know, I understand sometimes you don't wanna read a blog post. You're probably in school, you're probably at work, you probably read all day, you're tired of reading. You know what I'm saying? You don't come here to read. Don't worry, relax. But if you're interested in reading, holygrailsnail.com. My cat is back here making noises. Ma'am, hello? What are you doing? She's having a great time just in the back. Just, would you like to say anything? Aha! Say anything? She's so cute. So the skin transformation cream comes shipped, you know, in a regular box and just like everything else like gets shipped. But the product comes inside of this really pretty purple box here. And this purple box has a bunch of really sweet writing along the side. I told you, you weren't gonna have to read. I'll do it for you, relax, okay? So the front says skin transformation cream. And then it says skin transformation cream in French. I'm not even gonna butcher your language like that, French speakers. The side says, you welcome all circumstances as catalyst for change. And the other side says the same thing in French. So the back has a little bit of information about the product, boom, and that's pretty much it. Inside the box, there is this Nito other box, Boxception. No one's tired of that joke. So there's a box in this box and it does a little flip flap here. This is glass, so um, pardon me if I don't go crazy, I just don't wanna drop it, okay? So that box is a little flip flap here, right? And then there's the cream. This is a jar here, super pretty. So it just says Key Soul Care on the front, right? Okay, well, I guess that answered my question. And it says Skin Transformation Cream. The back has the I Welcome All Circumstances as Catalyst for Change. And if you're like, wow, what's up with the hippy dippy stuff? So it seems to me, at least, as a person who enjoys a crystal, a good house cleansing, a sage burn, a Palo Santo, you know, moment in the house that she's focusing on skincare and self-care, but with like a spirituality aspect to it. So the Skin Transformation Cream comes in a glass jar. And so it's very easy to open, which I love. Not so easy that I feel like if I traveled with this, it would open, but not to where I'm like literally fighting it. But anyway, don't panic because after that is this cute little flip flap joint right here with a little tab. It's a little cover on the top. So your stuff isn't just out there all willy nilly. You know what I mean? A little protection for your investment. So at the risk of um, dumping this everywhere, I'm gonna just, pops right out. So on the website, the cream does seem to have like a bluish tinge to it. It's not blue. It has such a faint hint of blue. It almost makes you feel like your eyes are fooling you type of thing, you know what I mean? So the cream is pretty much white with the just the most slightest little 
hint of blue in it. So the only way I can really describe this cream is it's a cream gel type consistency. So if you're only familiar with a gel or a cream, literally mix it together, that's a gel cream type consistency. So if you know me, you know I like a little sniff test, okay? The first thing that I did when I opened this was, you know what I'm saying? I gotta know. So this is the product not rubbed in. I just did a small smear. Just so you can see like a good gel cream type is not super heavy, but you're gonna get that moisture that you're looking for. This cream contains Bakuchiol. So Bakuchiol is, and ooh, if I'm butchering that, I'm so sorry. But Bakuchiol is a phytoretinol retinol or retinol alternative. So if you've ever heard retinol, retinol, I promise you, and this is my prediction, retinol is gonna be hot this year. And I feel like this is my prediction and hold me to this, okay? I feel like retinols are gonna be so hot this year in skincare and Bakuchiol in particular. So the thing about Bakuchiol is it gives you all of the benefits of using a vitamin A derivative or like retinol, but it has much gentler side effects. With Bakuchiol, you don't get the extreme dryness, the redness, the flaking. It actually does the opposite. So Bakuchiol, although it's a phytoretinol, retinol, actually helps to hydrate the skin. The other star ingredient in this product is malachite. So malachite, you've probably heard of as like a gemstone, and it is. At the end of the day, I really thought they were just gonna like take a, a malachite stone, because I see this all the time. I thought they were gonna take a malachite, like gemstone, and just like put it in the bottom. <laughs> So I couldn't really find too much and what I did, I had to deep dive, and I mean deep dive for this information, but apparently malachite is used in skincare for like cleansing and purifying and I still feel like that has to do more with energy than any real topical treatment for anything, but it's in here. So you can see I'm like a medium skin tone and this is the cream rubbed into my hand. Um, and just for comparison, I'll show you both hands. This one seems to be more moisturized. It's definitely very soft. And that's the first thing that got me was how soft and moisturized my hand looks. So it's hard to tell because, you know, the light's a little harsh, but like it has a glow. It's not sticky. It's not shiny. It's just, it glows. It glows. Can you see that? With, without. See how this one's a little dull? And this one just like, ooh. And there's nothing in it, no shimmers. No, um, some people with stuff in skincare that like makes it light reflective so it looks brighter, none of that. This also contains hyaluronic acid, which I love. It hydrates really deep within the skin. Um, it depends on the molecular size of the hyaluronic acid, but I'm pretty sure no one is looking that up. And lastly, this also contains ceramides, which I love just because ceramides are so amazing at helping you repair your skin barrier. It is just like, mm. So I've been patch testing this for about a week now and I like it. I feel like it's super soft. It makes my skin feel hydrated. Now, my only gripe with this, and maybe once the jar is done, I'll, I'll have a different opinion on it, and I will definitely update this if, if this is the case, but for something that contains Bakuchiol, which is hydrating, hyaluronic acid, which is immensely hydrating, and ceramides, I did expect it to be a little heavier. And it's great for those of you who may have oily skin or combination skin, uh, but I have dehydrated combo skin. So my skin is dehydrated and it gets oily because it's dehydrated. So I prefer to have a cream that not necessarily is heavy and shiny and makes me look like a glazed donut. Glazed donut is for nighttime. I still want it to feel super, super hydrated. Almost like if you were to soak your skin, like that's the kind of hydration I like in a moisturizer. So on that end, I'm not entirely sure how much of each ingredient is in there. I feel like there could be more of something. I feel like there could be more hyaluronic acid. I really wish it gave me more of that feeling and that's it. And the other gripe that I have is that this is, and it is marketed as a scent free or fragrance free product. And it does have a very slight, and I'm assuming natural fragrance, but 
it does linger a little bit. I'm not sure exactly what in this product is making it smell that way because I have a product that contains ceramides, hyaluronic acid, like a bunch of other stuff and, and none of it smells like this. So I don't know if it's the Bakuchiol. This is the first product I ever had that had Bakuchiol in it or if it's the Malachite. I personally, I don't mind it. I think the scent is actually very beautiful. Like if you're one of those people that actually prefer to have scents because you like the experience of it, I think this would be a great cream for you. If you're highly sensitive to fragrances, I don't know that you would like this because this isn't one of those things where it immediately goes away. It does linger a little bit. This is a first impression, so I can't 100% say yes, buy this, don't buy this. But as far as how it feels and the product for maybe those who do not have dry or dehydrated skin, I'd say this is a good buy. I wouldn't say that this provides you with this immense amount of hydration that some of us might need. But overall, as a lightweight moisturizer, I think this performs really well. I'm really excited to try some other things in her lineup. I'm not a huge moisturizer person, so take that with a grain of salt. I prefer to layer on lighter products, so I'm looking into getting the mist and definitely the mask. Looking to get those soon, and I will definitely do a first impression of those for you as well. But that's it. Again, if you wanna see a full review with the ingredients list, how it performed, price, where you can find it, all of that, go to my website, holygrailsnell.com, where you can find all of my skincare reviews and my current skincare routine as always thank you so much for watching if you like this video want to see more videos like this one don't forget to give that like button a tap on the tush and if you have not done so already don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below to become part of that worldwide fam and i will see you guys somewhere out there in the world or in my next video Time to jump up in the air.